Okay, so today I want to expose you to a model uh, that we created that uh, helped a lot to manage complexity. The model, uh, the name that we have it right now is order like O, G, C, and E. O, G, C, E. And the reason is uh, that. So we have, uh, the model is built from four cranberries and two XO. On one XO, we have autonomy. This is the level of autonomy that organization or groups will have. Could be within a group, it could be within organization, low, high, oh, let's do it that way. And on the other XO, we have the level of variety that organization will have. Low variety, high variety, that's the model, or that's the excellent in nutshell. Now, it doesn't matter in which quadrant you start. I start with one just uh, for the sake of simplicity, but really it doesn't matter where you start. So I'll start with O, which is order. And order is a state where you have low variety and you have low autonomy, and everything is very, very, very predictable, or much more predictable than other stages that you're going to see. Um, but this stage uh, is equilibrium and usually it's uh, equal depth. So in order to move away from this uh, stage, what organization doing? They're giving more autonomy. They're giving more autonomy and, and uh, that enable people or groups to start to create more new elements. So that's the G and that's the growth. So what happened here is that I'm increasing autonomy and since I'm increasing autonomy, I'm starting to have more variety. Not high level of variety, but I'm starting to have variety. And this variety will grow, 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 grow up until we reach a, a stage where we have too many independent and diverse elements that need in order to run this variety. And when this happens, we are getting into unpredictability, or the C, which is complex. And uh, in complex, we are going to have I autonomy and I variety. So we are in, in this quadrant, we can go the direction, you don't have to reach the peak, but uh, definitely we are in complexity. Now, what's interesting in complexity is that um, you complexity always grow exponential. Your resources even can grow exponential, but they will never ever grow in the same pace as complexity. And when you reach this, sta this stage where uh, you have not enough resources to deal with the complexity, nature protects itself, and the way that it's doing it is by falling into entropy. So, what happened in entropy? What happened in entropy is that uh, the variety is starting to decrease. So, uh, sorry, autonomy started to decrease in the first time. When autonomy starts to decrease, as a result, variety starts to decrease. So that's the first thing that's going to happen. I'm going down in autonomy, and as a result, I'm going that direction in variety. And as variety decreases, I have two options. I can uh, be in a state where I have enough resources again to manage what I have and I'm going back to order and then I can go through this cycle again and again or I went too much in complex and uh, the entropy is happening too fast and I actually exceed the life cycle uh, which means that uh, I'm dead or chapter 11 let's call it so uh, that's the money in a nutshell, very simple, uh, very straightforward. Uh, actually, if you know the level of variety and the level of autonomy, you can pretty easily define where you are um, or roughly where you are. Are you more in order, growth, complexity, entropy? Uh, if uh, your stage is slightly different than other, uh, than, your than your competitors or your uh, customers, then obviously you have a problem and you need to take care of it. 
Um, but that's a simple model that helps you to understand uh, how it works. Uh, we call this um, stage chaos when you're moving from order to complexity. And we call uh, this uh, move um, equilibrium when you're getting back from complexity into order. Uh, and that's a, an ongoing cycle that happens all the time um, that uh, might end up uh, with the death of a system or might end up with a reoccurring problem of a reoccurring uh, cycle of the system. One way or another, uh, eventually, the complexity level, if it's cycling, the complexity level will grow, grow, grow onto a level that uh, chapter 11 will eventually happen. That's happened to each and every system whenever we like it or not in the end. So uh, hopefully that model helps you to get uh, your head around complexity. What is the role of complexity in organization? This is actually a very good state to be in, complexity. It's a state where you have high level of autonomy and high level of variety, uh, you are in the peak of your competitiveness, uh, just make sure that uh, well, eventually it will happen, just find a way how to extend it as much as you can before you are falling into entropy. If you take it too high, the entropy effect will be too catastrophic. Thank you.